Now last time we finished off playing around with the spell January, but before I go any further, I want to go ahead and finish off the class for buff, bolt, and AoE. And to be honest, I'll just go over here and look at the interface. We'll be doing more with interfaces later on. For now, we're just going to leave it the way it is. Um, I really, I just want to put some properties in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut and paste them in. Or copy and paste. I'll attempt to anyway. All right, so I buff, we'll come into buff. And we'll have to do a little bit of editing. Now we're gonna put public in front of all of them. How about that's not too bad. Let's make sure we get the, everything lined up, right? So for now this will suffice for what we need. Uh, so we want bolt. Bolt only has three. Now let's come in. And we'll put public in. All right, and AOE is the last one. It has a few more, well, it has one more than Bolt did. And of course, we'll put our public in. And then one more. Okay, great. Let's go into our spell generator now. Uh, actually, before we go to the spell generator, we have to go ahead and create some constructors here. So I'm just going to come down below and we'll just make a buff. I'll have to make it public. Now all I want to do is just assign some initial values here. So for the max buff or max buff value, I'm just going to put that as zero. Buff value variance, which is a float, and I'm still going to use uh, Ashley. I'm going to put another 20% in there. So, buff value variance is going to be equal to 0 0.02 F. And then base buff duration. I'm going to go ahead and make that equal to, uh, let me see, let's make it. Uh, I want to have it in seconds. And I want it to last at least a minute. So that's 60 seconds. Let's go ahead and make it two minutes. So 120 seconds. And this is a float. So I'm going to go ahead and put an F there, even though it is, um, doesn't have a decimal. And I want to make a note up here that this is in seconds. And I'm not sure if it's just too late at night. Uh, the interface here. I actually have a duration for the base buff and then the buff duration. Ah, it's an actual timer uh, telling me how much is left. So let's go ahead and maybe rename this to make it a little more understandable. Uh, and I'm just going to call it buff timer. Or buff time left. And I'm going to go ahead and just copy and paste that into buff. And then come down here. Make that equal to zero. I'm also going to make this private up here. I do not want it to be set outside of this class. It's just going to keep counting down and during updates. Uh, it's going to be uh, adjusted. Quickly, we'll save this. I'm going to look at spell. Uh, we do not have update done here yet. Uh, we're going to have to play around with that, but we'll get to that. Uh, let's see. Let's make a note here that I need an update. Uh, the easiest way is probably just to override the update, but uh, when we get to it, we'll take a look at different options that we have. And I think that's it for this one. So I'm going to come over to Bolt. 
and pretty much do the same thing. Uh, we need public first, so public bolt. And first one we have is max damage value. And I'm going to set this equal to zero. And the damage variance, I'm going to go ahead and leave it at 20% oh, just seems like a good starting value for everything. Uh, so I'm going to say damage variance is equal to 0.2F. And we'll go ahead and set the spell range. Uh, let's go ahead and set that equal to, oh, I don't know. Let's just make everything 10 for now. And it is a float, so I'm going to keep it as an F. And I'm going to specify that this is a, this is measured, well, this is meters. Just to know what kind of unit we're going to be using here. Okay, so we got buff down. Now we're not going to need an update here, although we do have an update back from this one. But anyway, let's go on. We'll move on to AOE. Uh, max targets. I'm going to set that equal to zero. And I just like to have values to, uh, to start off with. So AOE range. I'll start that off at zero. Now we're going to do AOE damage. Then again, zero. And I'm going to set my variance back to yes. Oh, let's try 20%. <laughs> now we'll go ahead, we'll save that off. And we have all of them done. So let's go jump back into our spell generator. And we're getting pretty close to the end here. So uh, for this script, all we're going to do is I'm going to take this line here where we're declaring spell. I'm going to move it up to the top here. I will be working with it later, but there is going to be one arrow I want to fix. And I'm sure that was with the buff timer. Since I made this private, I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of this because if I don't, it's going to expect it to be public and I'll get an error. All right, there we go. Uh, when we come back in the next video, we're going to be playing around. I think everything else is done. At least for now, we're just going to play around in the spell generator. Hurry up, uh, generate a few spells, uh, bind them to the keys uh, one through four just for now, and uh, then we're going to start putting particle effects on them. So make sure you go ahead and get your particle effects done and uh, like I said, share them if you got any really cool ones, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.